three, two, one, ignition and lift off. Five years ago, an Atlas rocket cleared the tower, carrying one of the most ambitious space projects ever, the Juno spacecraft and its mission to Jupiter, by far the largest and what scientists say is the most mysterious planet in our solar system. It has the strongest magnetic field. It's spinning the fastest. It has the strongest gravity field. It has the most intense radiation. And we're flying the fastest of any spacecraft, and we're carrying these giant solar rays uh, spinning. Juno's voyage and subsequent scientific work cost an estimated $1.1 billion. The solar panels mean the spacecraft is being powered by the sun's energy, traveling at a whopping 150,000 miles an hour. Juno must slow down at the right time to enter Jupiter's orbit and begin its 20-month investigation of the planet. <laughs> Nothing says success like a cheering room full of relieved and excited scientists. This is not computer animation. This is a look at four moons orbiting Jupiter that Juno sent back to mission control. It's amazing. I mean, the more you know about the mission, you know just how tricky this was and to have it be flawless. I mean, I really can't put it into words. It is the kind of success the U.S. space program needs. Its manned space program has been shut down since the space shuttle was mothballed five years ago. Much of the attention in the U.S. has been on deep space exploration, such as the Mars rover mission. NASA had a backup plan just in case Juno failed. So we prepared a contingency communications procedure, and guess what? We don't need that anymore. What the space program needs is continued success. Jupiter is 1,000 times as big as Earth and gives off punishing radiation. The radiation dramatically damaged the first U.S. probe to reach Jupiter, Galileo, back in 1995. Juno is going to be a two-year mission to study the largest planet in our solar system, and it's going to be the first mission ever to probe deep into the interior of Jupiter. During its 20-month mission, scientists hope to gain insight into the heart of the giant planet, sometimes answering relatively simple questions, such as, is Jupiter solid or more gaseous like a star? The hope is that information can lead to much more challenging questions, like the origin of our universe. Sean Caleb, CCTV in Washington.